They are the faces of KBOA over the years, the people you've invited into your living rooms every night over the decades since KBOA began. They were family to us here at KBOA, and they still are. As part of our 70th anniversary celebration, we tracked down some of your favorite anchors over the years as part of our special Where Are They Now series. Tonight, we check in with Joe Donlin, an anchor who spent a decade at the station, crediting KBOA with not only making him a better journalist, but a better person. In all honesty, I don't think you've changed all that. No, no, I've told you I'm exactly the same. <laughs> From 1988 until 1997, Joe Donlin worked as a reporter and anchor at KVOA, the place that he says laid the foundation for his career. I learned so much. When I look back at it now, I can't believe how little I knew, really. We haven't hit 100 yet, is that right? Not yet. Well, I don't care if we hit 150. How does that sound? It's just crazy when you look at the talent and the lineup that we had in that building back in the day, including the likes of uh, Savannah Guthrie. And I mean, when I started there, I was doing weekend news and Dan Hicks was doing weekend sports. But um, there were enough veterans in that newsroom, including the likes of Lupita and Sandy Rathbun. And, you know, there were a lot of people who had been there and, had, and were seasoned journalists. And we just, by virtue of being in the room with them, learned a ton. Tucson also became a special place to Joe for a number of other reasons. I love my time there, the people, the restaurants, the hiking, everything there is to do, the sports with the U of A. It, it was just, uh, you know, and I met my, my uh, wife, Kathy Ryan, there, who was doing the morning news at the time with Jimmy Stewart. Three children and nearly three decades later, Joe has traveled an incredible path, spending 21 years in Portland before moving on to Chicago to work for powerhouse WGN. Then on to News Nation, where he hosted his own news program before taking the main spot at 2 News Chicago. Along the way, never forgetting how KBOA impacted not only his career, but his life. KBOA really sort of shaped me as a journalist and as a person. I mean, that's really where my life started to come together uh, in so many different ways from a professional standpoint and also from a personal standpoint. Started raising a family and it's just where I grew up, and it really was a huge part of shaping me into the person and the journalist and the father and the man I am today. Joe Donlin, still a great journalist and a great person. If you'd like to check out more of our 70th anniversary stories, visit our website, kboa.com slash 70.